While kidnappings for ransom continue across South Africa, it seems the Western Cape is seeing a drop in these cases. This, researchers say, could be attributed to a Western Cape task team set up in October last year to specifically deal with kidnappings in the province. Since then, dozens of suspects have been arrested, including three police officers. Asha Ismail reports. With a rise in kidnappings for ransom over recent years, Times Live, alongside the Henry Mumalo Foundation, carried out a six-month-long investigation into these crimes. The research was done by Aaron Heyman, Tankiso Maketa and Graham Hoskin. Some of the research that we did showed that in the, in the Eastern Cape, it is, it's, it's, the police are completely swarmed. Um, it's, it's out of control. And um, they, it doesn't look like um, the police are, are, are making a strong enough effort over there to, to really clamp down on the stuff. But what happens is a lot of the um, perpetrators of uh, kidnapping for ransom in Cape Town also operate in the Eastern Cape. Heyman says while transnational syndicates operate in South Africa, most are what's called express kidnappings. This involves substantially lower ransom amounts by kidnappers looking to make a quick buck. They usually release their victims within a day or two, with Kailicha being a hot spot. What's happened since October was the police established a, uh, a multidisciplinary uh, kidnapping task team consisting of the Hawks and uh, the police, um, the Western Cape Provincial Organised Crime Detectives. And they, when, when they started in October, basically express kidnappings in the Western Cape were, it, it was a, a free-flowing industry. Um, sometimes there were multiple kidnapping victims being held at the same time. Um, and these were mostly foreign nationals. Um, Bangladesh is topping the list. He says the arrests of prominent players, kidnappings, have gone down in the Western Cape. In all this task team arrested 31 suspects um, between October and now and it's believed that they have arrested um, amongst the people that they've arrested, they've arrested three uh, relatively high, well we could probably call them kingpins, but planners uh, for these kidnapping uh, syndicates in the Western Cape and um, we've seen a drop. Western Cape Police Commissioner Tembisile Patakile says his officers are making progress. The integrated approach, multidisciplinary approach in kidnapping is actually assisting us. And secondly, we suspect that we may have arrested the right people and that are uh, in that were actually doing this. Because some of those that were arrested are linked to more than one, two, three kidnappings. He says technology has been invaluable to the team. Especially with the, the city of Cape Town, which has got actually the in artificial intelligence out there, CCTV cameras and many things that assist us in, in, in following up uh, the, the, where the person was and all that. Although they are still part of the of the city that are not really wired, which we're hoping that they're going to be wired soon, uh, when we come to Nyanga Kalicha. But most of the people that we were kidnapped, we found them in Kalicha, which becomes a, uh, a priority for us at that area, be wired also in terms of CCTV cameras. Heyman says police who were dealing with kidnappings before the task team was set up had a difficult time. The members of that team are, um, they, they they were so stressed out that some of them have been hospitalized now due to stress-related illness. Um, so, <clears throat> and this is long after the new team has taken over. So these are, these are overworked individuals. If you speak with the police officers involved in the stuff, um, it's a highly emotional crime. Um, you know, you, you're constantly getting ransom calls from victims, female victims, begging for their lives when they see the videos that are sent to them and that person it, it gets tortured well, I would assume that is very traumatic but we are encouraging our members to go for counseling more and also our medical aid 
has provided also a space for each member to do it privately if you would let we pay for that. But how does the Provincial Police Commissioner feel about three of his members being arrested in connection with kidnappings? Actually, we feel ashamed. We feel embarrassed because it takes us back to where we hope that we would not have been there. But we're rooting out every part of our members that are involved in the criminal activities. He says those arrested must face the full might of the law. Aisha Ismail, Cape Town.